Uh, hi, everyone. Good morning. Am I audible to all of you? Can you please confirm in the chat? Uh, yeah. Hi, Vivek. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm audible, guys, to all of you. And thanks for the confirmation. So today, uh, in this particular session, uh, I will continue with the segmentation part only because yesterday I was talking about the um, detectron 2. Uh, like segmentation part but today uh, i was thinking to show you also that yellow v8 one because i was telling you with the help of yellow v8 also we can perform this kinds of image segmentation task right because uh, yellow v5 one amazing uh like framework and algorithm they have developed so you can uh perform multiple tasks with the help of one particular algorithm only like you can do object detection um image segmentation and image classification all the three kinds of tasks you can perform so let's try to see the instance segmentation part with the help of yellow v8 today and from tomorrow onward i will show you the object tracking part like how we can perform the object tracking okay with the help of deep sort and yellow v5 this thing now uh, first of all i want to show you where you will get all the resources uh, previously we have uh, covered so for this first of all try to log in with your dashboard and in the dashboard itself you will see one community program section so click on the community program section and here if you just go to the right side here you will see my courses called computer vision hands-on so first of all make sure you have one account in the any round website okay and if you have one account so you will be able to see this kinds of interface and if you have an enroll for this particular course first of all you have to enroll for this particular course and this is completely free you don't need to pay for anything so i have already enrolled for this particular course so what i will do i will log in with my account and i will try to show you the dashboard like where you will get all the resources let's say i will go to my courses computer vision hands-on and see guys this is the dashboard and from day one uh to day uh eight i think yeah day eight everything is up to date so day eight i was discussing about detector to image segmentation part and if i click here the see the resources is also updated here okay so make sure you enroll for this particular course and get all the resources from here only all right okay so I'm not going to discuss the image segmentation, like what is image segmentation exactly, because I already given you the idea, what is image segmentation and how many like types of image segmentation are there. Let's say I was telling about instance segmentation, panoptic segmentation, semantic segmentation. And I was also discussing about the difference. I was also discussing about the difference application of that particular segmentation, right? So you can go ahead uh, with your previous lecture and try to understand, okay, this part. Yeah. So today in this video only, I will be performing the instance segmentation task because this is the most frequent used okay, in the industry. All right, now let me just change the view. Uh, yeah, now I think screen is visible properly. Now, first thing what I will show you, uh, I'll show you the YOLO v8 repository. Okay, so if you just search for YOLO v8, YOLO v8 GitHub. Okay, YOLO v8 GitHub. So this is the official repository we'll get. So yellow V8 GitHub, as you can see, and this is for Alternatics. And here, just a minute, I think this is, yeah, this is yellow V8, this is the detection, as well as you have something called segmentation and classification, okay? You can also perform post detection. Uh, they have added this particular new feature and uh, this one oriented bounding box detection okay this this thing actually you can also perform i think i was discussing about in the yolo v8 session whenever i was discussing about the object detection part okay that time i was discussing about so here i'm going to perform uh this segmentation task uh what is the segmentation this is the post detection this is the segmentation oh yeah so i'm going to perform this particular task called segmentation now if i open the segmentation documentation so they have already uh, given all the let's say uh, code snippet and all like uh, how to perform this particular image segmentation and all everything they have already mentioned all these steps all the models okay this is the model view so these are the model actually you are having inside the image segmentation and this is like segmentation model as you can see this is a seg model seg means this is the segmentation model and dec means this is the detection model cls means this is the classification model okay that's the difference now as you can see this is the example code if you want to run it from python sdk you can copy this particular code you can run it and if you want to run from the CLI, you can execute this particular code. Both, I think I, I already showed you, right? Now see evaluation, uh, inference, all the code they have already given. And if you are getting any kinds of issues, so we can also create an issue, issue section here so that your issue would be also resolved because this is like very active research. Let me show you. The last commit was uh, 18 minutes ago. 
Okay, the last commit was 18 minutes ago. So this is like very active research. So whenever you are having any kinds of issue with any kinds of tools and technology, you can create a issue section here and you can mention your issue. It would be resolved quickly. All right. Now what I'll do? Uh, yeah. So let's refer this particular documentation and try to uh, and try to complete this particular task. All right. Fine. Now, before that, let me show you the data set I'm going to use for this particular session. So this is the data set called cell data set. So this is the blood cell data set I'll be using in this particular um, project. Let me show you the images. So this is the blood cell data set. As you can see, this is the uh, CT scan blood, blood cell Im images. So these are the blood cell actually. Okay, These are the blood, blood cell. So I have to segment this particular cell Okay, as a, as a blood cell. Got it. You can use any of the data. It's completely fine, but I'm going to use this particular data because this was annotated for me previously. Now, why do you get the data set? Like if you want to, let's say, use any other data set. Again, you can use RoboFlow Universe. Let me open the RoboFlow. Let me sign in. Now here, uh, I already had the cell data set here. Let me remove this particular project. Okay. Now if I go to the universe, so here you can search for instance segmentation. So you have different, different data set you can use. See. So these are the data set for the instance segmentation. So you can use Apple data set, feature detection data set, SS ins uh, ins uh, inspection data set. Then uh, you have different, different data sets. See, you have satellite data set also. You can use any of the data set and you can use it. But I'm going to use the cell data set because the data set is available for me. Now, uh, how to prepare this particular data set? First of all, create a project. So give the project name. Let's say this is uh, segmentation, cell segmentation. OK, cell segmentation demo. And annotation group, this is a cell only. And this is the instance segmentation task. I'll be selecting this particular project and create a public project. Now, let me download some of the images so that I can uh, show you the annotation part at least. I'll download this particular image, just a minute. This is the same format as you did for your uh, uh, YOLO V5 annotation. Only you just need to do the polygon annotation, but format will remain same. In the train folder, you will have the image and labels. Inside that, you will have the labels. That means the YOLO annotation. Inside image, you will have the images. And you will uh, uh, have one particular, uh, let me show you, uh, file called data.yml. Data.yml will contain the folder location. OK, I'll tell you. So first of all, remove it, this particular cache file. Hmm, I think everything is fine now. Let me check this folder. Okay. Now I think it is downloaded. Now let me open it up. So this is my cell images. Okay. This is my cell images. Now let me upload these are the images in my RoboFlow platform. Now I'll start the labeling, assign the image.
Okay, now you have to use this polygon annotation. Okay, make sure you are using the polygon tool and you are seg uh, annotating this particular cell. Okay, so this is nothing but cell. Now this is also cell. This is also cell. So like that, you have to complete for all the cell present in that particular image. But I'm only annotating uh, three cell because I want to complete it quickly. So what I will do, I'll go to the next image and I'll start again annotation. Done. Now I will go to the next image. Let's annotate. Hmm. I'll go to the next image and I'll also complete. So let's say I have completed for all the images. Now what I have to do, I have to go back, add the images to the data set, apart from the 10 test fleet. Okay, then after that, what I will do, I'll create a version. Then let's continue, continue and create. Then I will export the data set. Now here I have to download a zip file and I'll be selecting uh, this one. YOLO V8 segmentation. YOLO V8 segmentation. So here is the oriented boxes. Uh, convert to object detection. Coco YOLO V8. Where is the YOLO V8? So yeah, so this is the YOLO V8. I'll be saving it then I can continue. So see, it has downloaded. Now if I open it up, Now see guys, you got the same folder structure, okay? Now you can delete this particular to readme file, it's not required. So inside training folder, you will have the training images and the labels, okay? So this is the labels and it will have the annotation, okay? And it will have the annotation, that means that uh, coordinate point, that uh, polygon coordinate point. See, this is the polygon coordinate point and this is the label. Zero means this is a cell. Okay, it is considering a cell. How will identify it's a cell? So for this, you can open up this particular data.yml file. So let me open it up. Let me show you. See guys, so you can remove this part, not required. Now see, this is the training folder location, validation folder location, testing folder location. You have number of classes, which is nothing but one. 
called cell. Okay. So that's how your data will look like. Then you have to upload this particular data to the Google Drive. So I already uploaded inside my Google Drive, as you can see. I have uploaded as a cell data. So inside my Google Drive, I have updated everything. Now, what I have to do, I have to copy this particular data.yaml file and I have to paste it outside of the da cell data folder inside a Google Drive. Okay. Then here I'll be creating one collab notebook. So this is the collab notebook I already created. Now let me execute this particular notebook and let me show you the training process, how we can perform the segmentation training. Fine. So first thing what I have to do, I have to change my runtime to the GPU. So for me, it is already selected T4 GPU. I'll be saving it up, then connect with the T4 GPU. Fine. Now let me check whether I got the GPU or not. See, here I got Tesla T4 GPU. Now the next thing, what I have to do, I have to uh, check the directory. So I'm inside content directory. So this content directory, I'm storing inside the home variable. Okay. If I'm printing home, that means it's a content. Now, first of all, I have to install YOLO V8. And how to install YOLO V8? I think I already given you the idea whenever I was doing the detection part. For this, you have to install this particular Altalytics package. All right. So let's install this particular Altalytics package. Okay, so installation is completed. Now what I have to do? Okay, still it is running. Let's wait. Yeah, it's done. Now let me import and check whether everything is working fine or not. Hmm. Now, first of all, let's uh, inference on top of the like the model actually we're having, the pretend model we're having. So here we'll be doing the inference and we'll be doing through the CLI, command line interface. Okay, so for this, you have to execute this particular command, YOLO. Task is equal to segment because I want to perform the segmentation task. Mode is equal to predict. That means I only want to do the prediction. Model, which model you want to use. So you can go through the model view and you can select the model. So let's say this is my segmentation model. So I want to use this particular model. Uh, nano model, I think, no, or a smaller model. Let me check. Yeah, a smaller model. So I'm using this model. So copy the name and paste it here and make sure you give dot pt. Okay, after that. Confidence score, I'm setting because I'm telling my model if you are more than 25% confidence that time. Just try to show me the prediction. Otherwise, try to ignore. And this is the source image. So this is the URL of the source image. So if I open it up, so this is the image. So this image actually I'm giving. So it will segment out this particular image. Then after that, I'm also saving save is equal to true. That means it will create a runs folder inside that. It will save everything. Now let me show you. So if I um, execute it. First of all, it will download the model. Hmm. Now see, runs folder is created. Now it says runs folder, segmentation folder, predict folder, and this is my prediction. So let me show you, this is my prediction. See, it has beautifully segmented out all the object present in the particular image. Now, if you want to visualize on the collab notebook, it is also possible for this, you have to execute this line of code. See guys, so it has segmented dogs, person, backpack, handbag, and car. See the results, okay? It's pretty much good. Now you can also try with Python SDK for this, uh, call the YOLO module. And inside that, just mention the pro uh, like model you want to use. And after that, just try to call this particular predict method and provide the source image. 
that means that particular URL and set the confidence score. So it will also give you the same thing. Now, this is the bounding boxes coordinate, and this is the confidence score. This is the results, and this is the result masked. So you can use visualizer or RoboFlow vision, uh, like supervision to visualize the image. Otherwise, you can also use OpenC uh, OpenCV or Matplotlib to visualize this particular image. But if you're using command line, so you don't need to do it. It will automatically show you. All right. Now, what I have to do, I have to start the training. So you can get the data set from RoboFlow Universe. Otherwise, you can use your custom data. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to mount my Google Drive because my data set is present inside my Google Drive. That's why I have to mount my Google Drive first of all. So let's mount my Google Drive. Let me connect my drive. And continue. Done. Now, if I refresh, so my uh, drive has uploaded. Now, if I go to the drive, classes, I think not classes, my courses. Inside that, I'm having YOLO V8 segmentation, this particular folder. So I'll be leaving this particular location here. So make sure you are giving your location, not my location. Otherwise, it won't be working. So let me close it. So this is my root path. And this is my current path. Now I have to change this to the uh, to the to this particular path. So that's why I'm writing the CD command. Let me change directory. Now if I again WPWD, so this is my current location. Now if I do the LS, you can see all the folders and file inside that. Now I can start the custom training. So to start the custom training, you can execute this particular command YOLO. Task is equal to segment. Mode is equal to train. And model you want to use the same model. Data.yml file location you have to give. So this is the data.yml file location. This is the data.ml file location. And this is the number of epoch you want to train. So let's give at least uh, 100 epoch. And this is the image size and save is equal to true. OK, so let me start the training. See, my uh, epoch has started, so it will take some time. Let's wait. Once this training is completed, I will show you the prediction as well and how you can get the losses and accuracy, everything I will discussing about. So in between, if you are having any question, guys, you can ask me in the chat. Any question related to the object detection image segmentation you are having, you can let me know. Architecture of yellow V8s are explained it. Uh, see, architecture wise, uh, you can uh, get from the research paper and documentation and all. So, this is the hands on session, Charan. So, you can see the playlist. This is the hands on session. Here, I'm not going to explain about the architecture and all. So, if I go to the playlist, so see, this is the computer vision hands on series. Because uh, theoretical understanding wise, everybody knows about already. Because theory, if I if I'm considering, let's say, YOLO V8 uh, architecture, see YOLO V8 architecture, YOLO V8 architecture. So there are so many blogs. There are so many, let's say, uh, research paper actually will get. 
but whenever it comes into the practical implementation people will get difficulties okay so that is why i always uh, try to focus on the practical implementation see all the uh, architecture is already there in this particular research paper you can download it and you can try to see that yellow v9 we'll see that uh, if we can cover we'll also cover that one but see this is a uh, similar to your uh, yellow v8 vlv7 whatever you have used only the slight modification they have done maybe you can also explore from your end it's not a big deal monica you can check out that roboflow platform they have already written the blog on top of it so the way actually i showed you uh, for all the yolo you can i think try and make sure after learning this uh, task you are trying to build projects because at the end projects will help you right so try to build projects on top of it different different uh, projects you can build some good use cases you can take up from the kaggle or let's say uh, roboflow universe and try to build some projects and try to convert it to as end to end pipeline and if you want to learn how to convert as end to end pipeline you can refer our previous project implementation session right that's how you can learn everything it's not like that you were learning this particular community series and uh, you are not practicing practicing this particular uh, task so things would be much difficult for you so make sure uh, whatever you are learning get the idea pick up a different data set try to do your ex own experience on top of it okay and share this wo works with your network so that people can get to know okay you are doing something and you know these are the technology so definitely you will get lots of opportunity Seventy-eight percent, uh, seventy-eight epoch out of hundred. Still uh, thirty more epochs. I have to wait. Akash, I already given you the answer for this particular question. Um, what is the purpose of the yellow? Because it's a state of that algorithm it is like very faster and uh, the result is pretty good but if you're using faster rcnn at that time you will see uh, this model is a li little bit bigger than your yolo so the inference time would be a li uh, little bit high there latency will fix the latency but you can also use this particular yolo on the edge devices let's say mobile phone microcontroller you can easily run because if you see the model size is like very less Object detection is like a detecting single uh, objects in the environment. Object segmentation is identifying the multiple objects in dog the Um, no, no. See, I think I showed you one uh, comparison image. I think remember uh, object detection image classification classification. object detection and segmentation see this particular image i think you will get the idea image classification means you will have only one single image in that particular image you have to classify whether it's a dog or cat or any other objects object detection means you you should have multiple objects present in that particular image you have to localize that particular object let's say this is a dog this is a cat and segmentation means you are masking that particular object okay and rest of the thing you are removing i already explained this part in the introduction session now see training is completed now it has created one folder called runs let me show you so runs folder has created inside that it has saved all the artifact now let me show you so this is the runs folder it has created now inside that it has saved all the artifact now if you want to visualize that particular metric confusion metric you can execute this particular code okay so it's not running because uh, Matrix.png is not there. Mm, why it's not there? Let me execute it again. Confusion metric.
okay i think confusion metric is not there they have removed it so what i can do i can comment this line i can show you the results directly yeah so this is the results i can open in a new tab so that you can see the bigger picture see this is the bigger picture so this is the training loss and this is the accuracy recall precision and ap score map score that means your model is learning so here i have i'm using very less number of images so whenever you are doing uh, actual training at the time you should have more images that means you will be getting a good model because you can see, you can see learning is happening now you can see some batch prediction okay so batch zero prediction is not there why uh, batch batch train batch So these are some batch prediction and now if you want to validate your model so you can run this particular command validation and give the weights the weight actually you have trained and give the data dml location and it will give you the validation Okay, so you can see the validation score you got, MAP score. Now you can do the inference on top of the testing data. So here I'm giving my test test source images and I'm giving my train model location and I want to perform the prediction. So let me show you. Yeah, now if you want to visualize your prediction, so you can execute this particular command. So it will take all the prediction images from the folder. See, it has segmented out this particular cell as a cell. See, beautifully segmented out. Some of the things it is missed out because again, I'm having very less numbers of images. Okay, it is got overfitted because I trained 100 epoch and I'm using very less images here. All right, see, it's working fine. And see the confidence score, almost 98, uh, 96, 90, 82. So it's a good prediction. Now we can pick up any kinds of data set from the universe and from the universe and try to do this particular segmentation task with the help of YOLO V8. Okay, this should be your task. So try to export. Uh, that's actually you'll be learning. Fine. So our uh, segmentation task is completely completed. Let me change the view. So from uh, tomorrow onward, I will start with the uh, this one, um, object tracking. I'll show you how we can perform the object tracking. Uh, after that, I think I will be discussing about this particular things, GANs, I think. Mostly GANs I'll be discussing then. Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I don't need to discuss anything because most of the thing I've already covered in the computer vision hands-on. And if you want to like learn anything else, you can let me know in the chat. Uh, if you uh, if you want to explore something which is related to computer vision, okay, you can let me know. I think I, I can contact that particular session also. All right. So yes, guys, this is all from this particular session today. I hope you like this particular session. If you have liked this particular session, so please uh, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family. And uh, let's connect tomorrow and try to see the object tracking part. With that, guys, uh, I think uh, I can end the session right now. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye.